welcome back to 5 Minutes with Dr. A, the series where we break down very simple topics and into much more understandable portions. Today is going to be a topic that's really close to my heart, um, which is basically soft tissue laser dentistry. It's a topic that we do not get taught at dental school. We don't know much about it until we graduate, until we start looking at various different options. It's something that allows you to be able to do dentistry much more predictably and it allows you to be able to utilise those skills to make cases so much more predictable and easier to manage and I'll explain why as we go through it. So one of the main advantages of soft tissue lasers is it allows us to recontour the gums uh, for use in various different ways, whether it's something to allow us to reduce the effects of bleeding um, so that we can actually stabilise um, areas that are bleeding significantly and we can control it which then allows us to be able to be a lot more accurate around the gums, whether it's in the back or the front. Um, it can be used to actually recontour the gums. So if we've got a, a mismatch of gums, we can use, that, uh, we can use uh, soft tissue lasers to be able to get the match right as long as the bone levels below allow us to do so. We can also use it for things like um, exposing wisdom teeth at the back. We can use it for um, ulcer treatment because of the fact that it's not just on touch, it's also got the, um, the ability to disinfect and sterilise, so we can use it for various different things as well. Soft tissue lasers have been around in dentistry for a very long time, we're talking sort of 30 years plus, um, and uh, I first got into it myself probably about eight, not eight or nine years ago when I attended the course, and I've been using it such a significant part of my um, dentistry then I became the, one of the UK uh, leading lecturers on it probably about five, six years ago. And I've been working very closely with BUILD, which is the British Institute of Laser Dentistry, as their main UK and abroad lecturer for the past number of years now, teaching other dentists on how to use the techniques and how to use the lasers actually in everyday general practice. So I'm not going to bore you with the number of procedures that we're actually, we can actually cover with this because there's a lot more detail to it. But I'll talk about the main ones that we do. There's over 22 procedures that could normally be used with their soft tissue lasers. The main ones that I've touched on already, and I'll go into a bit more detail, are the ones that we can use for cosmetic cases. Whenever you've got a case where the gums are not quite matched up, and if you've got this yourself, and you've got a high lip line, and you've been looking at your gums for years and years, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's annoying, because actually the teeth themselves might be absolutely perfect, um, but it's only the gum lines that are not matched up for whatever reason. It could be a biological reason, it could be a uh, genetic reason, and that's just the way the teeth have come through. Lasers allow us the ability to be able to match those gums up, but that can only be done if the bone levels below them are at the right heights. If the bone levels below them are at the right heights and we've got enough gum that we can reduce some of it, that's an ideal way to do that. It's very non-invasive, it's very easy to do. And actually, the healing process is very quick. And normally, within a day or two, you're completely back to normal. And, and those cases can work either alongside um, more complicated dentistry. For example, if we're going to be doing bonding and we wanted to match the gums up first before doing that, or if we're going to be doing veneers and we wanted to match the gums up before doing that, it's a really useful technique to do at the start, which makes the end result more enhanced and so much more predictable. The more complicated cases, for example, if the bone levels are in the way, we wouldn't be able to do that with lasers alone. We would need to take that a step further and actually consider going down the surgical route before we go down the laser route. The other times which are very, very useful, if we've got um, a, a really deep filling, for example, which goes very close in proximity to the gums, and it's very difficult for us as dentists to control that particular area or get a very good seal of that, a lot of the cosmetic products that we use, especially filling materials, need the area to be completely dry for us to get very accurate results and to get the bonding to be really accurate. So if we've got bleeding or we've got any of those issues that don't allow us to seal the area perfectly, that's where using things like soft tissue lasers are very, very useful because we can control and, um, and stop the bleeding in that particular area before we start building up and bonding in there, which then gives us a much more predictable enhanced end result and it makes it so much nicer to be able to work in that area. It works also with things like taking impressions, if we wanted to take a set of impressions and make the margin a bit more predictable and easier for the technician to see. If we've got an area of bleeding that won't stop bleeding, if say let's assume it sounds as gruesome as it sounds that we've taken a tooth out, or an area on the gum that just won't stop bleeding, that soft tissue lasers are superb at being able to hemastasize or stop the bleeding in those particular areas. Finally, there are, there's lots of other sterile components of it in terms of being able to actually disinfect areas. And things like ulcer treatment or muscle therapy works really, really well with those as well. So if you've got an ulcer that's recurring, it's been a pain, it's not healing very quickly, using a soft tissue laser on there 
through the properties of the infrared uh, uh, that it actually emits, it can help the area heal much quicker. And usually ulcers that linger for 10 to 14 days can actually heal within one or two days much more quickly. Um, the muscle relaxation can also be used for things like jaw joints um, and areas around there, which will help to relax the muscles in those areas significantly and will give you some a really good relief in there. Um, by just really, it's like getting a deep tissue massage of those areas in the muscles to allow them to calm right down and just give you the instant, instantaneous relief and relaxation. That's more of an intro to laser dentistry. Um, I'm going to have some cases come up as time goes on and as we get them through and um, hopefully we can start to look at more interesting procedures um, than just the ones that we've showed on the screen in the background. Obviously, we've got lots and lots of footage um, showing a lot of the things that we're using and a lot of things that we're utilising. But unless we're actually going through cases, you won't appreciate the real uses and how useful this really, really is. Hope that's been useful. If you've got any questions about your own mouth, your own cases, your own teeth that you want to run by me, please drop me a message. Send me a photo. I'll be more than happy to give you advice. And um, please give us a follow. Please give us a share. And um, hopefully look forward to seeing you again for the next episode. Take care.